everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film about clicking that subscribe button so we have made it eight months through the year and it is time to rank the eight films that i saw this month <laughs> I am doing something different as you can tell by the title not only am I going to be ranking the films that I saw this month but I'm also going to be sharing with you guys my August haul I've actually never done a haul here before well actually lies I did one haul last year for Black Friday I see everybody doing haul videos and I was just like you know what I'm gonna get in on that as well and I'm gonna show you guys what I got I should not have done that um, but I do look a little bit stiff in this video you guys I'm having some like neck issues going on i slept wrong last night and also just as a reminder this is the video where you're gonna have to deal with the ring light because um i can't see my computer screen and also does the ring light on the glasses really bother you guys that much because i did get a few comments earlier on that's why i ended up taking off my glasses because a couple people were complaining about the ring light situation but let me know down below but without further ado let's go ahead get on with my tier list and then we're going to get to the haul and of course i'm going to give you guys a couple updates on what's to come for my channel in the month of september and now of course everything that i did review will be linked down below in case you are interested in seeing my opinion like longer opinion than what i'm gonna briefly give you here when american pickle stars seth rogan and seth rogan that's where we get double the Seth Rogen in this film. Now, 100 years ago, Grandpa Rogen was working in a pickle factory, just kind of killing the, the rats. And he ended up falling into this big old, like, barrel batch of pickles because he was kind of being harassed by the rats that he was trying to kill. Don't ask for the science behind this because it's even funny in the movie when they explain the situation on why it is that he was very well preserved. They just kind of... <laughs> they basically like needed that portion out so there's no real explanation but basically he was harvested and preserved by the pickle juice and when he came out 100 years later he was just perfectly fine and so then he meets up with his only living relative which is seth rogan now it is a pretty okay movie um you can catch it on hbo max but be pre-warned that you're not gonna get the typical seth rogan that we all know and love and by that i mean he is actually not smoking weed moving on to the one and only ivan which is a disney plus original movie and that one was actually really enjoyable you guys um it made me cry it made my sister cry and it is actually based on a true story well mine is like the talking animals obviously but it is based on a true story of ivan the gorilla who actually would draw paintings and then from the paintings apparently is how he was able to express that he wanted to be free but it is a very 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 cute movie you guys if you do have disney plus got kids i think it's a great movie to share um and, and watch as a family make sure you have those tissues ready i really didn't expect that i would cry to be honest with you and definitely stay for the end credit like let it play or just fast forward a little bit because there is a very very nice scene there at the end that made me cry again but let's go ahead and move on to bill and ted's excellent adventure now for me particularly seeing that i am new to the this world i thought the movie was actually pretty good um i i really like all the movies one of my things that as i've had time to think about it i didn't really like like they could have honestly still had them t talking like whoa and this is and that and still doing that little thing but I feel like they just didn't really have these characters mature as much as they should have. But overall, it's a really great movie. We finally got the song that is supposed to save um, life as we know it because in this movie, the stakes do increase and it's not just to bring like the world to harmonize it or whatever, but now it's to just kind of save existence as we know it. But let's go ahead and move on to get... Duke, which is on Amazon Prime. I guess it was okay movie. This one, when I initially saw the trailer, I thought it was going to be like The Hunt, which I absolutely love that movie. Honestly, my only issue with the movie is that it's rated R, but there's not enough deaths and there's not enough blood and there's not enough gore for it. <laughs> which is a funny thing to say out loud, but honestly, that's like my biggest thing about it is that it just didn't have all the things that I wanted it to have. That it's about these 
teenagers being hunted by these like elite people. The police are more worried about the death breath thief than they are about these missing people. I mean, now that I kind of think about it, I should really like this movie. It really seems like my cup of tea. It just wasn't bloody enough for me, you guys. That's, that's all it is. That's, that's all. That's it. Get Power. Netflix. Original. I just thought it was okay as well, <laughs> honestly. I know a lot of people truly, truly love this movie. I really didn't. I was not really here for it. I know that I sounded very positive in my review. Like, when I was seeing all my comments, I was like, I really gave off that impression that it's a really good movie, apparently, and, you know, you should really check it out. Now, my biggest issue with this movie that I actually did forget to mention in my review was the fact that there is no memorable villain in this movie. Like, none. We get that little shady ass guy, whatever, with that goatee. I don't know, he looks terrible. He's a terrible villain. You know, looking at him, you guys, like, do you actually really fear that guy? Like, no. There's, like, not getting to my, my feelings because I can't do, like, drastic neck movements right now. Moving on to another Netflix movie, The Sleepover. Now, when I first heard about The Sleepover being on Netflix, I honestly thought it was, like, the early 2000s Sleepover with Alexa Pena Vega, Evan Peters, Brie Larson. I don't know if you guys remember that movie. That movie was awesome. If you want to see The Sleepover, watch that damn movie. Don't see this one. This one's forgettable. I, it, it might actually be under you try, but I kind of forgot about it. So forgettable. We'll be we'll be kind of nice. Now from the trailer, I assume that the mom was gonna be like this like ex special agent or ex military or something more so on the legal side. But no, she was just a common thief. Well, like not really a common thief. She's like a really good thief, like high class, awesome thief. The best thing about it is Joe Mangalono. No, no. This hotness right here, you could just like have him on the screen and mute it because even what he says and does, it's, I don't. Then the dad in the movie, you guys, was absolutely worthless and I, I didn't like his character at all. He was some kind of chef and then they have him constantly doing some sort of like finger exercise because, you know, because he's not a chef, a pastry, well, a pastry chef. And apparently, you know, he has to make sure that his hands are nice and strong. And they kept making this huge point. So I'm like, oh. I kept thinking they're gonna have him obviously use that in some way and the moment that he uses it and that it's kind of mentioned is so stupid and it's just honestly him like grabbing onto Joe's legs while he's trying to get away and Joe just mentions why are your fingers so strong so stupid you guys so stupid the tax collector I'm not gonna be nice about this one this one was you tried <laughs> what the fuck was wrong with his ears like why like every time we got like a side profile of him and I saw those big ass ears, I'm just like, why? And I feel like they totally missed out on an awesome fight scene with Shia LaBeouf and then like old girl from the villain guy because she was like a psychotic killer like Shia LaBeouf's character was. And I feel like they totally missed out an opportunity for them to actually go at it and have this badass fight. Like I honestly kept thinking that fight could let me so Oh god, it's gonna be like toe and toe and no and lastly would be work it which you could also find on a Netflix. That one was also an okay movie, you guys. It really was. Now we're following Sabrina Carpenter in this movie. She's like the dorky kid. She's like all about school. She's trying to make those straight A's. She's trying to get into I believe it's Duke. I think that's the university she's trying to get into. And she's trying to, you know, make sure she gets all the I's dotted, all the T's crossed, and she's trying to do everything that she needs to do to get into this particular school. And when she does go into her interview, the lady who's interviewing her apparently is like this new person. She's more of a modern type of lady that's like, no, like you need to wow me, show me something else. And like, I, I don't need you to just be playing piano, like volunteering at the old folks homes and blah, 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 blah. I want something bigger and better and this, this and that. So this girl right here, Sabrina, ends up forming a dance crew. Sabrina Carpenter in this movie does not know how to dance at all. And they make a point to show you that she has no movement whatsoever. Mind you, she's trying to form this dance thing. Of course, we get a little dance teaching montage and of course, Sabrina learns how to dance within this montage. I mean, she's not perfect, but then like, I think that by the final, she's a really good dancer, obviously, because that's not predictable in type movies like this. Now, if you want like a good dancing movie, then I would recommend like some of the step up movies 
those are way better than this so these are all the movies that i saw in the month of august let me know down below what you guys saw in the month of august did we watch any of the same things how would you rank them let's go ahead and get on with maha we're gonna go ahead and start off with the pops that i got this month and i'm actually gonna start off with three that i actually got at the very end of july literally the very last day so almost count as august they are my dinosaur um a pop so i do have baby uh, some of you may be a little bit too young to know this series, but um, if you ever hear the phrase, not the mama, not the mama, not the mama, that's this cute little guy right here. And then, of course, we have um, Earl, which is not the mama, and we have Fran, who is the mama. And then we have P.T. Barnum from The Greatest Showman, which is actually uh, my favorite um, a musical. I know a lot of people don't like this musical, but I love it. And um, these pops were actually given to me by my uh, by my sisters. Uh, the dinosaurs were given by one, and then this one was given by another one. Um, and then this guy right here, the Joker from uh, 1989, which is Jack Nicholson, I actually just got the other day. It did come damaged, though. I was very very sad now he's actually my joker just because you know this is who i grew up with we're gonna go ahead and just start off with my regular dvds that i purchased now i've said this many 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 times i think i've said this many times on here that i really don't see the difference between blu-ray and dvd i know a lot of people like swear on it now we have like fucking 4k shit i don't know you guys i don't see the difference i don't really like to spend the extra money on blu-ray dvds um the only time that i actually buy a blu-ray dvd is if i really really want the movie and that's the only thing that they have it in and especially if it does have blu-ray and dvd included in it because honestly i'm only gonna see the regular dvd all right starting off with the hitman's bodyguard which i actually ended up getting for a collaboration that i did with anthony perez i'm gonna go ahead and link that down below so you guys can check it out a nice little classic the breakfast club Another classic, Jaws. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Double Dose, Double Feature, and then another Double Feature, which I got the same day that I got uh, Bill and Ted, which is the Batman um, Forever and Batman and Robin movies. I love these um, 90s Batman movies. I think they're great. I know that they're not the best, right? I know everybody loves the Dark Knight trilogy and I'm not all that about that trilogy, which funny thing, we're going to go ahead and start off with the Blu-ray, and guess what? We got the Dark Knight trilogy, and um, this is a Blu-ray deal, and then this is kind of just how it looks. Um, it's actually really cool because it does have, of course, a whole trilogy, plus we have some like really special uh, features with it. I haven't seen special features. Beetlejuice, we're coming around uh, Halloween, Myth summer 824 midsummer whatever the hell have y'all seen this movie you guys it is super twisty super odd we've seen it once me and my sister it really fucks with your mind you guys when i saw it i said you know what and i only saw it on blu-ray and but it does have the dvd on there so of course like i said i'm gonna be doing um watching the dvd oh and it does have a digital code as well my last digital code giveaway didn't go so well let me know down below if you are interested in the digital code giveaway for midsummer i'm telling you guys it's super twisty i totally recommend it i'm talking about digital code this is the one that i had the digital code giveaway for was the hunt which is absolutely one of my favorite movies of this year this what this is the movie that i was uh trying to compare get duke with and then finally, uh, 42, of course, uh, starring the late Chadwick Boseman. I actually ended up buying this day after he died, actually. But um, I did want to go ahead and get it and just continue to show my support uh, for him as well. But yeah, that was my haul for the month of August. That was really fun. I see why people do it now. Now for my updates for the month of September. Um, I am going to continue to do my Hit Rewind series because I am having a lot of fun doing it. One other thing that I am trying to do uh, starting this month is that I'm going to be having I guess like another little series going on I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna call it 
I'm kind of thinking about Second Chance Sundays. I'm going to be reviewing uh, movies that I did not like first go around. I'm going to be giving them a second chance and we're going to see what my thoughts are then. See if I still dislike it or if I actually grew to like it some. Yeah, those are my updates. And of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Till next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!